All right, so here we are back again. What I'm doing is I'm launching our quick time because I'm gonna do a screen record. What we're gonna do together is we are going to go ahead and we're gonna do a rendering, right? We're gonna put this powerful M1 chip to the test. So I'm gonna come over here, activate my screen record. I'm just gonna record everything because I don't know what's what these days. So we're gonna go ahead and just start recording right here. And from what I can see, so. Oh my God, I'm the problem of this. Sorry, starting screen record again record recording so what we are going to do is we're going to come over here i'm trying to record as many places as possible for you guys and we have three different videos so we're going to come over here and select all three drag and drop right there and we're going to grab these audio tracks one at a time so this one here goes to the first one so we're going to come over here we're going to synchronize the clip okay text messages are coming in so we're going to call this part one enter there we go synced up now we're going to come back over here and grab the second audio throw it right there and we're going to come the clip and we're going to synchronize it and what this is is we are rendering my unboxing video right now and this is going to give us an idea of the power behind the m1 chip in a desktop i definitely didn't spare any expense when it came to uh, putting this computer together i maxed it out pretty far as i could i could have gone up to four terabytes of storage but i stopped it too so let me just come over here and see how long this clip is this is a four minute and 45 second clip so synchronize part three boom there we go now i'm going to come over here and i'm going to do a new project i'm going to call it part one project part two new project part three so now we've got part one right here so i'm going to come down here to my part one synchronized clip and i'm going to drop it on the timeline and i'm just gonna keep going here so that was part one here's part two i'm gonna drop it on there i'm gonna come up here to three and all of these are just flying right onto the timeline no delay on anything we're gonna open this up these are our background tasks we'll always keep it eye on our background tasks so we're going to come over here and now we're going to start to render i'm going to come hit here and i'm going to do apple 4k device i'm going to push it pretty hard so there we go so now we're going to come to part two keeping our eye on the background task over there we're going to come over here and we're going to do another 4k part two right there part two is now uh set up to be exporting and now part three there we go part three all in the same spot there it is background tasks are going like crazy is there even anything happening right now so far for the sharing nothing has even started so i'm not really too sure how long this is going to take but we're going to see there will now be a short intermission so what we've discovered is that if using QuickTime to do a screen record, you can't render a video on Final Cut Pro. I don't even know how that's even a real thing, but you can. So what we are gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna start our timer and we're gonna start rendering all three of these videos which make up the whole entire unboxing of this wonderful iMac m1 goodness so i'm still excited about it even though it was a little snack food when i was trying to figure out like why it wouldn't render but now i got it figured out so we're going to come over here and we are going to activate our screen flick recording the whole window so we're going to come over here and we're going to get part one ready and queued up 1080. I recorded in 1080, so we're going to render in 1080. You see how we did that? That's how we did that. So over here next, and I'm going to go ahead and get ready to start this at the exact same time. Yes, replace it. It is rendering now as we speak. Did it already render it? What? What? Stopping all, stopping, st 
starting again. Here we are, we are rendering at 1080. We record in 1080, so we render in 1080. So next, part one, and right when I hit save, I'm gonna hit start. There we go, so starting it. Rendering up here. There we go, we're gonna keep pushing the limits. So we are now on part two. We're gonna come over here and we are gonna render in 1080. All right, it's estimated 1.5 gigs it has to go ahead and render, compress, and export. So we are pushing that out now. That is in queue. So now we are doing part three over here. Part two's the big beefy part of the video. So part three is kind of the conclusion. So we're gonna come over here and do part three, only 375 megabytes. And we're gonna export part three. So far, we've been doing this for 50 two seconds and we have a uh, a five minute video a 20 minute video and a four minute and 35 second video and we are exporting all of that goodness right now so right now it's moving on to part two it just finished part one and part two is definitely moving a little slower because it is a much bigger part of the actual video so let's go ahead and wait and give it a second and see where we end up all right we are just about to wrap up part two and we're at a total of about three minutes and 55 seconds overall and part two just wrapped up so there we go and we're moving on to part three so remember this is almost 30 minutes of 10 ADP footage that we are rendering and exporting right now. Almost 30 minutes. Now, obviously we're gonna go ahead and shave that down and the video is probably gonna only turn out to be 10 or 11 or 12 minutes, but 30 minutes is what we are currently rendering. And we are right at four minutes and 30 seconds right now. And they're 72% done, 70, 80%. It, just, it keeps going. So it looks like we are gonna go ahead and finish right underneath five minutes. There it is. So there you have it, four minutes and 43 seconds to go ahead and render 30 minutes of 1080p footage on the 2021 M1 Orange I'm at. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Head down to the comments and tell me what are you most excited about with this iMac, with this M1 iMac. Other than the M1 chip, my most exciting and favorite feature is the webcam, if we even call it a webcam now, the built-in camera. It looks so much better than anything Apple has ever given us in the past. Guys, like, comment, subscribe if you want to go ahead and show me the ultimate creator compliment. Share my content with your friends and family on social media. Until next time, for the love of Tech. Namaste.